we have completed with operating leverage let's move on to financial leverage financial leverage firstly we'll understand the meaning of financial leverage financial leverage fl is a measure of financial risk okay it's a measure of financial risk while operating leverage ol arises from the existence of i hope you all know from the existence of what from the existence of fixed operating cost but financial leverage fl arises from the existence of fixed interest expenses fixed interest expenses okay financial leverage can be defined as the use of funds in bracket will write debts use of funds with a fixed cost in order to increase earning per share of earning per share only earning per share no of financial leverage also have two formulas financial leverage has two formulas this is a very important statement this you won't understand right now but you will may come to know about this very soon in the next chapter or in the future videos i won't tell you when it will come but it will come very soon okay so just don't panic it is very important and i have written it in a very simple manner so by reading it you will may understand it okay so we will refer to it financial leverage static formula for financial leverage static formula is equal to ebit divided by ebt ebit refers to earning before interest and tax ebt refers to earning before tax i hope this is quite clear i am not writing any summary because now you all know what the summary is you all please write it on your own like i have written ha like i have written over here you all simply write it financial leverage is a ratio of income after fixed cost to income after interest that is ebit ebt ebit and ebt okay so please write it on your i will not waste time on this i'll simply move ahead and i'll write the interpretation at the end okay and i'll just give an example like the illustration i have solved for operating leverage okay financial leverage dynamic formula before here we have to write degree of financial leverage is equal to percentage change in eps divided by percentage change in ebit here also it will the answer will come in times i hope this is quite clear now we'll write the interpretation on the next page with the in, uh, with the in illustration okay so firstly i'll want you all to please pause the video height is coming in the frame please pause the video and copy this much
I hope you all have copied this much. Now let's move to the illustration. This will be a simple illustration, not exactly a sum. I just want you all to know about this. The formula goes in this order: contribution divided by EBT is equal to operating leverage. EBIT divided by EBT we get financial leverage, and combination of this both is combined leverage (CL). Okay, so we have already done with OL, FL. Now, and at the end we'll do CL. That is combined leverage. I hope this is quite clear to you all. And how we find interest? Interest on debentures. If it is given twelve percent debenture of rupees one lakh, then the interest will be twelve percent into one lakh, which is equal to twelve thousand rupees. I hope this is quite clear. So I am not giving any illustration. I will be giving you an illustration in such a way that it will help you to interpret or comment. Okay. So let's move. I uh, will give us generalized statement. Sorry, just a second. If FL of a company is four times, it means that EPS reacts four times to a change in EBIT. I hope this is quite clear. In other words, we'll write. If EBIT increases by five percent, EPS will shoot up four times of the change in EBIT. That is, the EPS change will be. Four into five percent, which is equal to twenty percent. I hope this is quite clear. Again, I'll again I'll write one more thing. Then we'll do how it is. Uh, I'll show you in a formula manner. Degree how this twenty percent came. Degree of financial leverage. Is equal to percentage change in EPS divided by percentage change in EBIT. So here, degree of financial leverage was four times already given. Percentage change in EPS we needed to find it. And percentage change in EBIT was given to us. That was five percent. So therefore, percentage change in EPS is equal to four into five percent, which is equal to twenty percent. Okay. Again, we'll go vice versa now. Calculate percentage change in EBIT. If desire increase in EPS is fifty percent and FL is equal to five times, so how we'll find it? So we'll simply write it: degree of financial degree of financial leverage. Is equal to percentage. This is the sign of change. Change in EPS divided. I'm sorry, divided by percentage change in EBIT. So degree of financial leverage is five times. Is equal to percentage change in EPS is fifty percent, and we need to find percentage change in EBIT. So therefore. Percentage change in EBIT is equal to fifty percent divided by five. Therefore, percentage change in EBIT is equal to 
टेन परसेंट आई होप दिस इज क्वाइट क्लियर नाउ इन द एग्जाम दे मे आर सच क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो फॉर थ्री और फोर मार्क्स ओके सो यूल कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इजी दिस इज सो फर्स्टली प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड कॉपी द इलस्ट्रेशन I hope you all have copied the illustration. Please copy the remaining. Hope you all have copied this much.